Hey everyone and welcome back to The Creative Collector. So in today's video, I am going to show you an easy way to change out one of these, an FEP. So if you're new to 3D printing, this is something that you will eventually have to do. So I've seen a lot of people struggle with actually replacing one of these. I'm gonna show you an easier method of doing it. I've been doing it for quite some time and I'm actually gonna do this on two different types of FEPs or two different types of VATs. The first one is actually going to have the double ring uh, where the FEP sheet is actually sandwiched between the two and it goes into the vat. And the second one is a single ring. It's a little bit less complex, but more complex. But first, if you're new to the channel, or even if you're not new to the channel, make sure to give us a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Also consider subscribing to the channel. And by all means, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think about the videos. Let me know what you think about the channel in general and what you'd like to see in upcoming videos. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to get in the area where you can set up maybe some butcher paper or paper towels to change these on. Uh, I'm just using a large piece of cardboard because you will make a mess. Uh, the next thing you want to do is to make sure you have all your tools here. I got my Allen wrenches and I've got an X-Acto knife here. And then on this side here, I got a box of gloves because I'll probably be changing out some gloves. Make sure you do wear these. And then I got some paper towels over here because I know I'll be wiping up some spills and stuff like that. So this vat uh, belongs to the Lenant Base 8K. It actually has a single row right here that we're gonna be changing out. So we're gonna do this one. And then this one down here, which is a considerably larger, it belongs to the Anycubic M3 Max. And again, this has the dual. So we're gonna be working on those because those are the most common styles when it, uh, you're changing out vats. So we're gonna do this one first. Uh, and I've got my FEP right up here. I'll make sure you get that out of the way, make sure it's covered and everything else. So the reason I am changing these out is because I had pinholes in each of the FEPs and I did get some resin uh, onto the Lynette based uh, 8K, but I had a screen protector, plus it has a glass screen. So if, if you get to this point here, the next thing that you really need to do is order you a new screen protector because you're gonna wanna put that on before you put these in. Uh, so that way you can protect your printer. And keep in mind, if you need to scrape some resin off of your screen, these plastic razor blades are very good. You can get one of these and some extra blades. I do have an affiliate link below. It's an Amazon affiliate link, uh, but these are handy to have on hand. So I do wanna say I've seen a lot of people use spacers for this. Why, I don't know, uh, but I'm gonna show you how I change them out again the disclaimer to this is, there's a billion ways to probably do this, but this is my way. It's pretty simple. I've had a lot of people ask me what is a simple way to change these out because they struggle with it. So uh, this is just one of those videos that I'm gonna show you uh, how I do it. All right, so we're gonna start with this FEP right here. Again, uh, make sure you clean all this. If you can't, then you have a serious problem. It doesn't have to be perfect but you don't want to get resin dripping all over your hands everywhere. So are you ready to cue the time lapse? Because I'm not going to bore you with taking all these out. All right, here we go. Man, that's a lot of screws. So uh, if you have one of these <laughs> handy uh, for that specific size, use it. It will make your life much easier. But I couldn't find mine for some reason, so I had to use what came with the printer. So now we're gonna clean this off all the way around. Uh, just get any excess resin off of here so we don't have to get it on our new FEP. Uh, but just clean everything off. And you flip this over, of course, there's a billion more screws. And so I'm just gonna lay this flat on top of here and I'm gonna take these off now. All right, so now we got all the screws out. It's just a matter of removing this here. Again, you're gonna have resin up underneath here. So you just wanna take a paper towel or an alcohol pad. Uh, I usually just take a paper towel that usually suffices for me. And I just throw the uh, old FEP away Peel it off of here. Just kind of get rid of it. 
A lot of these things right here, what I usually do is I'll take this and put it in a plastic bag and then I'll set it in the sun and let it cure and then throw it away. And I do that for the sake of not having any uncured resin in anywhere. So finish cleaning this off here. I'm on the inside of your vat, again, you're gonna have resin everywhere. So make sure you clean all this up really well. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my rings right here. So I'm gonna get these two brackets here and then I'm gonna get my FEP. But in order for me to work with the new FEP, I find it easier to take my gloves off and work with my bare hands. And hold on, before you keyboard warriors start crucifying me for handling uh, uncured resin or whatever like that, it's clean. There's no resin on here. There's no resin on that, so shut up. No, but seriously guys, it's much easier for me to be able to take the film off of this and put it down and actually have a little bit more control over it because the last thing I want to do is get a crease in the FEP and uh, I do not want to uh, crinkle this thing and get a lot of smudges and scratches on it. Get your FEP kind of measured out, make sure it's the right size. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is, and I've actually seen some people, I'm gonna peel this off here. I've actually seen people to leave it on and then peel it off afterwards. And I just, I don't understand that. So I'm gonna flip this over, put it on there, and then peel the other side off. So and then the next thing I will do is I will put this back over the top of it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just hold it like this, go up in the corner and put a little hole right there into the FEP into that corner. And I'll put a little screw in there. And that gets it started. Then what I'll do is I'll go across here on the other side and do the same thing. Poke a little hole in here with my exacto and the reason i'm poking a hole in there and rather than doing it the uh, other way is because you really have to force these things in there to get them started and by poking a little hole in there you see how much easier that screw goes into there all right again i'm not using a spacer i'm not stretching the fep or anything like that and then what i'll do is i'll go to the uh, adjacent corners and i'll do the exact same thing here I got all four corners done. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sides and then I'm going to move to these sides. I'm going to do that from here and here, and then I'm going to spread around. So there you go. You got everything screwed in. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim the FEP here. Uh, and for that, again, all I'm going to do is use this. Make sure it's a sharp blade. There are some people who use scissors. There are some people who use other type of blades. Uh, again, there's many ways to do this. Just don't cut your finger off. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right up here and just go around. And any little excess trim that I might have missed, like this right here, I'll just go back, trim that off. It happens. Just make sure you don't run your razor blade into your brand new FEP and poke a hole in it. The next thing I'm gonna do is put this back over. It's gonna set it inside here, like so. Now, it will tighten up on its own. You don't need a spacer. You don't need this thing super tight. You don't need this thing super loose. And all I'm gonna do here is the same thing I did on the other. I'm gonna get my X-Acto knife. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna poke a hole, but this time I'm actually gonna poke it not long ways like this, but sideways like this. And for those of you in the comment section, this does not split the FEP. It, I have changed dozens of these. It will not split the FEP. And so all you do is you just go through and slightly tighten up your hole. You do not want to tighten it up all of the way, but you do want to get it started. So that's good right there. And then I'll go through the other side, lengthways, poke a hole. And then I will go to the corners.
And then after I get done with that, I'll go back to these sides. I'll do these and then I'll do these. And then I will go and do these on the ends and then kind of work my way around. So now once I have all of my screws in, I will go around and tighten everything up. Again, don't use a drill. Do not use anything that has really high torque because you can strip this vat out. Okay, and now we have everything done. And you see I didn't use a spacer. Um, it's pretty tight. Uh, it's not super tight. It's not loose. It's pretty damn near perfect uh, to print off of. Now, if you have any smudges or anything like that on there, if you got resin on your FEP, or if you got dust, like I got a little dust on here, get you a microfiber cloth. Do not use a paper towel. Get you a micro, microfiber cloth and just wipe that off of here. So this one is ready to go back into the printer and start printing. Let's move on to the next vat. This one is the difficult one. Okay, so this one is a little less complex, but more complex at the same time, if that makes any sense. So this one, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of the screws on the back of this one here. All right, so now I have all of the screws out. I'm just gonna pop this off of here. And as you can see, you just have a single ring right here and your FEP lies below. So I'm gonna clean this off really, really good. Again, with the FEP, fold it up, put it in a plastic bag, set it out in the sun, let it cure and throw it away. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna clean this up really good. Now is a great time to do this. Also clean your build plate. It's also a great time to uh, use alcohol wipes, clean off that up really good and even get some dried resin or spilled resin off the side of your printer. So we'll get on here, uh, it's a matter of taking your FEP off. Again, I do not use gloves on this part um, simply because I find better control out of just using my hands. I'm not in danger of touching any resin since everything's cleaned off. So do not beat me up in the comments too bad guys. So I'm just gonna basically place it over this since I don't have that other ring And you're gonna size everything up. You're gonna put your ring up on top. We have to start putting the screws in before we cut the FEP to shape. Now you can do this, but you run the risk of getting it short on one side or too long on the other, and you're running the risk of uh, it not fitting correctly. So what I do is I take my X-Acto knife, I poke a hole here. And one thing you'll see here is the screws are much shorter. So you kind of have to be careful. See how it's starting to kind of bunch up. You know, if I did not poke that hole there, then we would probably have a problem. So we're going to put it in. It's gonna look like it's gonna stretch it a little bit, but all I wanna do is get it started. And then you can pull a little bit of that back out. And then I'll take and go over to the adjacent one and do the same thing. The next thing I'll do is I will go into the corner over here and do the same thing. Just on one of these, poke a hole, and then I will tighten this up a little bit. And then I'll go to these two corners. You see how it's lifting like this? That's perfectly fine. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll do one of these sides and then do the other side. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put the other screws in and then I'm going to cut the FEP. Okay, so now we have all of the screws started. I'm going to go through and I'm going to trim off this excess edging of the FEP here is I'm going to go up underneath the FEP. You have this thing lifted still. It's not pressed all the way down. 
and you just follow the trail around there. Make sure that you don't slip <laughs> and cut the inside of your FEP. And there you have it. And the next thing you got to do is go through and tighten up all of your screw holes. All right, guys, and there you have it again. Got a nice tight FEP on there. It's clean. It's ready to go. All right, everyone. I hope that helped you out in some form or another and showed you an easier way of doing this. That way you don't struggle in the future. So I get questions all the time regarding this, and I really just wanted to make a quick video so uh, I could show you my method of doing it and hopefully it helps you out. And again, if you like the content, make sure to hit the like button and also leave some comments below. Let me know some little snippets that you'd kind of like to see similar to this. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon members who support the channel and uh, helping me make these videos. If you'd like to support the channel, just simply watch the next video. If you'd like to financially support the channel, Take a look at my Patreon. The link is below in the description. We do have a private Discord, and we also have the model of the month. And with that, everyone, thank you for supporting the channel. Be safe out there. Get out and create something. Print, print, paint, repeat. And until the next video, we'll see you. Can we just talk again about how awesome this big freaking statue is? I just simply love it. Get the file from Wicked.